So in-house security, uh, the fact that there's no real regulation of it, training, I'm sure you all heard of the incident a few years ago, New Year's Eve, in the French Quarter, and uh, some bouncers at a club uh, detained an in individual apparently for not uh, following their dress code, and they ended up um, killing the guy. Uh, and I'm surprised we really haven't heard more lately, maybe we will soon, uh, about that because um, these were three guys that just took it upon themselves to uh, decide how they were going to enforce these rules. Um, and there are definitely lawsuits involved. I think the individuals are all being charged with some degree of murder. Uh, I'm sure the club is being sued f for whether or not they trained these individuals uh, and what kind of instructions they had, what kind of policies did the club have uh, for these guys to enforce rules. So that uh, is a bit of a loophole in the law. I have not seen much enforcement either of even the private security um, laws. They, they do require companies to be licensed and they do check on that, but um, I have never had anybody come to any of my events to check for certifications or licenses or anything like that. So it's very possible for uh, people to be out there um, providing the service that really don't know what they're doing. And that's, that is something to look for too. If you ever are in the situation where you've got to hire a security company or provide security, you're going to want to make sure the people you're dealing with are properly, properly licensed and certified. There's other loopholes such as for a special event. Um, you're not in fact required to be certified uh, as far as private security because it's considered a temporary employment. So um, there's certain paperwork that you do, but there's a lot of people out there working and they may or may not have been through um, very much training at all and certainly not the state required training. Other things to consider if, if for instance, you're in a situation where um, you're maybe managing a band or something and you have to secure personal security for somebody. You want to make sure that that person is well trained and you want to make sure you give them a certain set of guidelines to go by, how you want them to behave, um, you know, how far you want them to go and that sort of thing because uh, eventually if something happens, all the parties involved potentially could be, um, could be sued for liabilities. So.